Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am excited to be with you today. I am bringing you a card, as you can see here, from the Flowering Fields Suite. It is in the mini catalog on page 14, 15, 16, and 17. It's an entire collection that has two bundles. Last week, I brought you the Flowering Tulips bundle and this week I'm bringing you the Tulip Fields Bundle. So definitely check out the mini catalog on pages 14, 15, 16, and 17 so that you can see these two amazing bundles that work so well together. It's an entire suite of products, so definitely check it out. There's so many things that you can see um, in the mini. And if you need a copy, let me know. I'd be happy to help you. Um, if you select me to be your demonstrator, you'll automatically get catalogs. So let's keep going and um, we'll move on and start making our card. This is the card, whoops, sorry. This is the card that we're making today. And you can see this field of tulips. It's gonna be a scene that we're building. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. You can see the dyes are amazing. Inside, I have put the little bicycle, which is right here from the dyes. And um, the windmill, the tree, the clouds were all cut from this die set. Let's move the card to the side. We're gonna take a piece of granny apple green and we're gonna fold it in half at the four and a quarter inch mark. It's a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock here. And our background for our scene on the, on the outside here is four inches by five and a quarter. And we are gonna stamp first our scene and then we're gonna build the top section. So we're gonna do our flower field first. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna move my card out of the way and bring in a scrap of paper here to put my piece on because the stamps that we're gonna use are really long. You see how long they are? So we're gonna use this one. It's gonna be our first piece that we're gonna lay down. And then we're gonna use this one, which is also very long to build our field all the way around. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna mark approximately where I want my field to start. And it looks like I'm gonna mark it on my, on my paper, not on my card. So I probably wanna start my field about right there on each side, just as a, a focal. And that way I have enough room to build my scene on the top. So we're gonna start with Flirty Flamingo. We have a bunch of ink pads today because I chose to um, use four different colors of tulips in my field. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my stamp down. I'm gonna bring my ink pad to it. So I'm just gonna ink across. And I'm gonna grab a baby wipe those readily handy in one of my drawers in case I do things like this, like put ink on um, a part of the stamp that I don't want it. And that way everything stays nice and clean and I don't have to worry about getting it in the wrong spot on my card. So you can see that I've inked my stamp all the way across and we're gonna use, um, I'm gonna bring it down where I can see a little better. I'm gonna use these as my guide to come straight across with my field. I'm gonna put it right about there. So I'm just gonna press down from this side and then we're gonna lift straight up. And there is my first layer of color, which is right back here, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and build some more. We're not gonna use flirty flamingo anymore so I'm going to put that ink pad away and I'm actually going to clean as I go because it will help to keep my hands from getting all these different colors <laughs> and also I'm going to have to clean the other stamp that I'm using because I'm going to reuse it over and over again so I'm just going to leave my ink pad out and so we're going to start now we've done our our backdrop and now we're going to start with our middle. So we're gonna need fresh freesia. 
which is our middle color. And again, I'm gonna ink onto my stamp instead of bringing my stamp to the ink pad just to make sure that I get good coverage. And I'm gonna now move my paper this way and bring my card. And I'm gonna start in the center here and I'm gonna fill in this middle section of my field of flowers. So I will ink that down. So there's my middle section. And then I will clean my my stamp because I have to use it for my next color. But when you use the chamois, it's really quick to clean the stamps, so it works out rather well. I'm now gonna start back here and I'm going to do these sides and the, that color there is Melon Mambo. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my stamp and Melon Mambo and we're gonna turn sideways again because I'm gonna be coming from this side. And the stamps are made to line them up. It's made to do this, it was designed for this. So don't be afraid to have your, you know, your white spaces between your rows of flowers. Of course, you know that when we have a flower garden, we do have space in between the different rows that we plant, so it's normal. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this side now, and I'm going to go ahead and position my stamp. All right. And then we're gonna fill in our last two pieces, but let me close my Melon Mambo, and then we're gonna go to Highland Heather next. So I'm gonna clean my stamp. This color, saturates pretty good, so I definitely like to scrub it a little harder than the lighter colors. All right, so now we go with our Highland Heather, and we're gonna fill in the remainder, and we're gonna have our bottom scene done. So let's go ahead and ink up in our Highland Heather. And now we're gonna come right here in between these. And then we're gonna do one more on this side. Hopefully I'm not getting my head in the camera. And there are our field of tulips. Turned out pretty good. Quite pleased with that. Let's go ahead and clean our stamp. All right. Let's move this out of the way. Well, actually, I'm gonna use it one more time because we're gonna go ahead and sponge the top now of our card. So I'm gonna sponge this background and I'm gonna be using Balmy Blue and one of our blending brushes. I want to fill in the sky area, so we're gonna do that part next. So we're basically just building a little scene here. So I'm just moving my blending brush in a circular motion on my ink pad, and I'm gonna deposit just a little bit right there, and then I'm gonna work my way onto my cardstock. And you can see I'm moving again in a circular motion to deposit the ink. Gonna pick up one more time. And I'm just filling in my sky, especially around the edges here. I'm gonna do a little pressing a little harder around my edges. And there is my blue sky. Every time you do it, it's gonna be a little different. That's okay. Now I've used Granny Apple Green to do my tree, but I have already cut it out. So there's my main tree. And we are going to do some small trees with this stamp right here. And they are on either side of our windmill. Now I've already also cut out my windmill. It does need to be colored, but I'm going to use it 
to figure out where I want to put my small trees. So I'm going to lay it onto my my piece of cardstock here and I want my windmill to kind of end where this fresh freesia point comes up so right around there. So I'm going to stamp my set of trees to the right of that point there. So there's the trees and then I'm going to do another set and when I do this other set the small tree is going to be hidden behind my um, behind my windmill there. So the windmill is going to cover that second one. I just wanted it to look like different trees and I didn't want them to be exactly the same. So it's going to cover that. So there's our granny apple green layer. And like I said, I've already stamped our large tree. And I've also done the clouds. So the only stamping I still need to do is for the inside of our card. And we're going to use um, Melon Mambo in for the inside. The outside is going to be a Happy Mother's Day card. So the inside is going to say love you so much. So I'm just going to ink that up in Melon Mambo and stamp that down in the center. And that's gonna be the inside. Now, on the outside, after I've built my scene, I'm gonna do Happy Mother's Day on a bannered flap. And I've used a three inch piece by three quarters of an inch of Melon Mambo ink. And I'm going to be stamping Happy Mother's Day on there in early espresso. So we're going to use the banner pick-a-punch to do our flag ends. I'm going to bring this to the bottom, guys, so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to stamp my Happy Mother's Day on there. So there's my Happy Mother's Day. And now we're gonna do the two sides. So we're gonna grab our banner pick-a-punch. Here it is, this is the one that we want, as you can see in the sample here. So we're gonna slide it into this slot. I'm gonna unlock the punch in the back, and then we're gonna slide this down the slot that it fits the three quarters of an inch. This punch can hold half inch, three quarters, or one inch. And I'm just gonna press it till it fits all the way into the back and then give it a punch and then you get those flag ends. This is what pops out. And so I will relock my punch by pressing down and sliding that piece up to lock it into place. Now it's closed. So now we have all of our elements. We have our two pieces. Here's our clouds. We have a little bicycle for the inside of our card. That's gonna go right here. We have our card front. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this layer onto my front. And then we can build our scene. We've done all the pieces. We just have to put it together. So there's that. We're gonna color our windmill. And I'm gonna use crumb cake blends. So I'm gonna start with my dark crumb cake. And I'm just gonna follow the lines that the artist gave us right along the sides here. They kind of did some shading. And that's what I'm gonna do there, just like that. I'm also gonna do the top window. And I'm gonna do the door. And then I'm going to do these pieces on the blades that are straight with the dark crumb cake. I'm also going to take the light crumb cake and I'm going to color the rest of my windmill here in the light crumb cake.
And then I'm gonna just shade the bottom of the die cut. It leaves a border around there and I wanna add some grass so that it ties in with those trees. So I'm just going to shade this bottom section of my die cut that's white where it cut out with a little bit of granny apple green to match my little tree line so that it blends right in with my tree line. So let's grab my silicone mat because now I'm getting ready to start using some wet glue. And you know, if you've watched me in the past, I can make a little bit of a mess with some wet glue. So I definitely always use a silicone mat. We're gonna get that going. All right, my glue is nice and juicy today. <laughs> some days it's juicier than others. I'm using um, some tweezers to grab so I don't get my fingers full of glue. And once I've placed it, I'm gonna go ahead and pat down the blades. Let's put some on my tree. tree in place right here to the right of the windmill so there's our tree all right and let's put our clouds in let's figure out where we want them I guess we'll put this large one here and we'll fit this one here by the blades just right let's see if I can get it to fit in there just perfectly and we'll put the small one up here so let's start with a small one and put it into place up here. Let's do this intricate uh, placement of this larger one next. So it's gonna fit kind of right in between the blades here, right at the edge of my card. last one and then of course we'll do our happy mother's day at the bottom and put our i love you with our bicycle on the inside all right so there's our scene you see how easy it was to build that we're going to um, attach our strip at the bottom here so let's grab that this is a piece of four inch by half inch of Highland Heather. And I'm just using my seal adhesive to um, run across there so that I can place this down along this bottom edge here. And just make sure that it makes it all the way across here. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to take our Happy Mother's Day. We're gonna pop that up. We're gonna use some dimensionals here. So we'll put three of them, one on each end and one in the middle. And you guys know what I use when I use my dimensionals. Take your pick tool, right? So let's grab our take your pick tool. Put our Happy Mother's Day right here in the center. Let's go ahead and glue our inside of our card. So let's open. We're gonna flip this over and we'll use our tape runner, our seal. Not the seal plus, I use the seal. The seal plus I only use if I do boxes, but I tend to use the wet glue more than anything for boxes because I like the wiggle room it gives me. All right, so there's our I love you, and we're gonna put the little bicycle on the inside. This is gonna be some intricate gluing here. So I'm just gonna, oops, see why I use a silicone mat? Because if there's a way to make a mess with wet glue, I will do it. So I'm just gonna put some dots and some little bits here and there on my bicycle so that it will have spots to glue down onto my card gonna grab our tweezers again so I don't get this glue on my fingers and we'll put it in a 
here at the bottom. Bicycles are kind of a thing in Holland. I went there in the 80s. I know, a long time ago, right? Late 80s. I was in Europe and I spent a lot of time in Holland and they do ride bicycles quite often there. All right, so there is our bicycle on the inside of our card. And our outside, we just need to put our embellishments. So I'm using these Playing With Pattern Resin Dots. They're super cute. They are retiring, they're on the last chance list, and I really love them. So I decided to use them on the card. I'm gonna use two large ones to put on either side of my um, Highland Heather section here. And then I'm going to do a small one up on this corner here. There we go. And they're in a pale lavender, like a really pale purple, um, a nice bright yellow and um, kind of an aqua, I guess, a bright aqua. And they have some great colors, so definitely check these out. They're on last chance, so it's your last chance to grab them until May the 2nd. So that is our card for today. I hope that you have enjoyed watching me put it together. I certainly enjoyed it. If you have stuck with me this long, definitely subscribe to my channel so that you can get more content. I do post at least five videos a week. Sometimes I post every day. So definitely check it out. I do blog every day at inkyhandswarmhearts.com. So check out my blog. And I will see you next time. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.